Welcome back to Milk and Right. I'm Dabasaurus Rex. I'm Rob. And today, what do we got for you? Today, we are going to make some churro inspired things. So, these are more like a traditional churro. These ones are more like an Italian Zeppoli, but it's all the same components. We just wanted to make a couple different variations and sizes so your dosing could be very curtailed to mm -hmm. your thing. And they look and smell amazing. Yeah, and everything except the coating of cinnamon and sugar is infused. So these are quite potent. Quite potent, and they look fucking delicious. And they're pretty easy. Yep. Let's go check out them. All right, so we are back, and we are getting ready to make some churro. Churros are fucking delicious. Yeah. <laughs> um, so these are not like super complicated to make, but they're not like like super easy either. Um, but so it's like an intermediate yeah. type thing. Um, definitely, if you like, you're not comfortable with frying something. This is not something that you want to attempt. Um, but we're gonna walk you through it. It's pretty simple and. Uh, they're fucking delicious, <laughs> so they are worth it. So first we're going to get our flour and our water. So we're going to use one cup of water, pinch of salt, one cup of flour, about a quarter cup of our infused coconut oil or butter, whatever you infused will work fine. Some sugar. About a fifth of a cup, roughly, of sugar. So now we're gonna turn our burner on and we're gonna start cooking our dough. Um, yeah, in a moment I'll show them, but pretty much you want it to look like, um, it would be like a shiny version of like a pizza dough. Like, uh, the color is much different than a pizza dough, but it's gonna have a similar, like, hold to it where it all stays together. But you can see we're kind of getting there now, where it's getting a little thicker and starting to look like a dough, but we're not there yet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get all this dough together into a nice ball, and then we're gonna take this off the heat, and then it's gonna get thrown into the mixer and get beat the fuck up <laughs> um, until it's like a perfectly like satiny smooth dough and then it will get dumped into a bag and we will pipe it and cut it with scissors and fry them in a little bit of oil. You see in here we're getting like much thicker and much like more like pizza dough it's got that like stretch to it mm -hmm. so we are almost there. All right so now that that's all cooked up we're gonna add our last two ingredients, uh, which is egg and vanilla extract, and then we're gonna whip the fuck out of it. <laughs> so crack one egg, drop that in, add a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Keep doing this for three or so minutes, and then uh, we'll be all done, and then we can turn this into a bag. It makes some curl. See the difference in all this? So we're gonna do two different versions. We're gonna do one that's more like a, a Zeppoli or a beignet, that's like a smaller one. And then we're going to do like a pipe that one that's more like a traditional churro. So our oil is nice and hot, around 370 degrees. And then for the Zeppoli style one, all you're gonna do is take a spoonful and push it off into the oil, move it around a bit so it doesn't stick to the bottom, and that's it. You know, let it sit there and fry for a couple of minutes, get golden brown, we'll flip it over, and that's, that's it. <laughs> Very easy. All right, so while those fry up, we can get our chocolate ganache started, which will also be infused. Um, so this is just some dark chocolate morsels. Um, I put them in the microwave already for like 15 seconds, 
but they've cooled down while we were talking, so we're going to put them back in the microwave for 15-30 seconds, warm them up, give them a stir, and then we can infuse. Alright, so these are starting to look just about ready to come out. I'll pull one out so you guys can see it. But that was the first one I put in. So you can see that like beautiful golden brown. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're looking for on all of these. You can see these are just slightly like more white. So these still need a couple minutes. But we're just about there. But I can show you what everything happens next. So we have our melted chocolate, you can see it nice and smooth. We're gonna add some of our infused coconut oil. You could be butter, whatever you use. Thoroughly really incorporate that. Like that. And then here in this bowl, we have just some cinnamon and sugar mixed together. So we're gonna take this, Dump it into our cinnamon and sugar. Toss it all around. Get it thoroughly coated. And then we are going to take some of that infused chocolate. And we are going to cover about half of it in the infusion. And if you really wanted to go crazy, you could make like a can of sugar. Yeah. And then you'd have something really wild. Alright, so these are all ready. And just be careful when you take these out because this oil will burn the fuck out of you if you're not careful. So kind of drain each one individually and then set them on your paper towels to take any of that other excess oil. So now we're going to take these and we're going to toss them in. Pull them out, repeat, and then the same thing again. Chocolate, and then maybe we'll do a few without the chocolate. So then the last thing is we're gonna make a couple, like I said, of the larger ones. So. These are very simple. You're gonna take, you can use a piping bag if you have one, <laughs> or you can use a Ziploc bag. So you take the Ziploc bag, cut your tip, and then you're gonna squeeze into the oil, and you use a knife and cut it off, and fry it up, and then repeat and explode the bag <laughs> and make a big one. Oh man, holy shit. Yeah, that one's gonna be really big. These look so pretty, I like don't wanna fuck it up. Yeah, they, they look really nice. I don't wanna mess it up. I'm just gonna eat this one. <laughs> You're gonna go for it? I'm just gonna, go. I, I, I have to. I'm going for this one right here. They're real good. Crispy, chocolatey, cinnamon. I mean, it doesn't really get that much of the wheat taste. Not at all. These just taste like a churro. <laughs> mm -hmm. These are really good. Yeah. You might want to watch out when you eat these, because if you start like just mmm, 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 you get in trouble real quick. Yeah, definitely like eat in moderation. I would definitely say that these are one of my favorite edibles. Mm -hmm. Like, they're delicious. These are good like anytime. You know when I'm thinking about it? Breakfast. Yeah, these are like lunch. any Snack. time of the day. You could have a cup of coffee in the morning in one of these. Mm -hmm. That would be delicious. A great way to start your day. Maybe have two. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know that I had a good time making these. They're easy. Like we said, they're delicious. They're a good thing to make that you can share. You mm. can make different sizes so people have different options. Mm. Um, okay, your dose. Yeah, these are really good. Until next time, thumbs up, as always. Comment, let us know if you want to try these. If you tried them, if you like them. 
you know, give us some feedback, and of course, subscribe. Yep, like, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your families, tell your exes, tell strang- strangers, randoms. <laughs> just pass it, um, just keep going. Yeah, people you meet on social media, people you meet on your dating sites, uh, wherever, everywhere. Definitely. Just yeah. tell them all. And you know what you should also tell them? We have a giveaway coming. Yeah. And that's why they should subscribe. Yes. And if you like and comment on the giveaway video and you're 21 or older and subscribe, mm-hmm. you'll be entered into the giveaway for that amazing Terps USA package. But you have to do those things. So make sure you do. Thanks, everybody. Later.